When you're writing a post on Google+, or even leaving a comment, uh, they offer a great little feature to tag other users, similar to what Facebook and Twitter offer. Uh, there's two advantages to doing this. One is so people know who you're talking about. Uh, the example of Brian Gardner here, if I just said Brian, or even Brian Gardner, people may not know who I'm talking about, but if I tag him properly, they can click on that to see his profile and information, maybe add him to a circle, that kind of thing. Uh, the other advantage is that it notifies him of that. If I tag him in a post, he'll get a little notification up here saying, hey, Mickey Mellon's tagged you in a post, you know, go check it out. So here's how we do that. Uh, while you're writing a post, writing along, writing along, we'll use Brian as an example. I want to say, you know, these great Studio Press themes from, from Brian Gardner. Uh, do the plus symbol and then start typing. B-R-I-A-N uh, space out, G-A-R. And what's neat is, uh, not only does it filter as you type, but it puts people that are in your circles at the top. So there's more than one Brian Gardner, and there's certainly probably a lot more than five Brian Gar that start with that, but he comes right at the top because he's in my circles. So I can click that. If I were to post this now, you know, I can choose, again, what circles I want to get it. You know, maybe I'd make this public. Um, but then I leave him here so he'll be notified of that post. Uh, again, use things like that sparingly. You don't just tag a bunch of people to get them to notice your junk. But if I want to mention him legitimately, you know, if I was talking about WordPress and great themes, he would certainly be someone I'd mention. So it'd be worth doing that. The other way to tag folks is in a comment. Um, let's find a thread that has a few comments here. Here we go. Uh, these guys have talked about you know 4G being down, which is quite a shame, but hopefully it'll get fixed by tomorrow because I've got a couple of 4G devices now. Uh, same deal works in comments. Um, and actually, I'll go ahead and leave a comment here. Like you know, I just got two 4G devices, so I hope it comes back up quickly. Um, and then Cam, of course, making a, a funny joke about Los Angeles. Maybe I'd want to mention him. Now he's not in any of my circles, so he wouldn't come up quickly. But something very cool that Google added here is that if you leave a comment and start to tag someone, it'll look for previous commenters in the little drop down first. So while normally if I did a new post, Cam wouldn't come up very high, he's going to be first on the list when I start typing C. There's Cam Meadows. Uh, and then it gets into people in my circles because it realizes if I'm leaving a, a comment, it's probably directed at someone that left a previous comment. Um, and so I can say at Cam Meadows, I'm sure it'll be fixed by then. And maybe we'll smile like they're being cute because it's going to be there a whole lot but sooner than 2024 as well. Uh, but it's a great little feature Google added um, a couple months ago where previously if I wanted to mention Cam Meadows and I hit plus, he's not in my circle. There's 40 million people out there. There's probably a handful of cams and you know maybe other cam meadows, so it's a fairly unique name. It was hard to tag previous commenters. Now they've made it real easy. So when you're leaving a comment uh, and you hit the plus, it's going to filter by people that left previous comments, then by everyone in all your circles, and then by anyone else that might be on Google+. Plus. So they make it real easy to tag those. And in this case, um, Cam probably would get a notification anyhow because he, he left a comment and it would say, someone else has left a comment on the post you commented on. But He'll also say, hey, Mickey's mentioned you as well, and so he'll get that. But that's the basics of uh, mentioning folks in posts. Um, there you go. I hope it helps. Thanks.